wanted to turn yourself into an action hero like you see on a movie poster? Well, stick around for some incredible Photoshop compositing techniques to get you jumping straight into Mission Impossible. Hey team, good to see you all. Listen, thanks again to all my new subscribers. If you haven't done so already, hit that red button below so you don't miss out on some fantastically good photography content. Mm -hmm. So you wanna jump over a supercar like Ethan Hunt, easy. Go outside to your car. Uh, easy. Go and borrow your filthy rich neighbor's car. <laughs> Not a chance. Easy, head to a royalty-free stock image website like pexels.com or unsplash.com, find your dream car, thank the photographer, and start taking some action photos. But wait, there are two things to consider when compositing images together. The first thing is light, and the second thing is camera angle. Is it directional light? Is it hard light? Is it soft light? Is it flat light? What angle was the stock image taken from? Was it shooting up or was it shooting down? Was it waist height, head height? Where in the image do you want to be? Look for ways to marry the images together. So if you're ready, here's one I prepared earlier. I'm using Capture One, but if you're using Lightroom, the basic adjustments are roughly the same. I'll bring the highlights down to negative 20, increase the shadows by plus 20, whites down to minus 50, and I'll add a touch of clarity with a classic method profile of around plus 20. Then we'll sharpen the image, And finally, bring in the black point on the Levels panel. Now let's ship it across to Photoshop with a resolution of 316 bit. So here we have our image open in Photoshop. And firstly, we'll make a copy of the background layer, which is always good practice to keep an original. Next up is creating a selection of the figure. So we'll use the Object Selection tool and draw a square around the body. And Photoshop has made a fairly good job, but we'll just need to tidy things up a bit. Using the Quick Selection tool, you can hold the Alt key and swap between subtracting from the selection or adding to the selection by releasing the Alt key. Now it's time to refine the selection further by heading into Select and Mask. Using the Refine Edge Brush tool, just begin running the tool along the edges and Photoshop will do the rest. Once the edges are tidy, click OK and make a layer mask of that selection. Then create an empty layer beneath the mask layer. We're going to fill the layer with a colour so we can see the mask more clearly. With the mask selected, choose a brush, set the hardness to around 75%. Pressing X to toggle between white or black, you can perform some final mask cleanup. Now for the compositing. Head to a royalty-free stock image website like pexels.com and find a suitable image as a background. Drag it into the image. Rename it Audi and place it underneath the mask layer, which we'll rename as Mark. Then using the transform tool, resize and place the body in a realistic way. Placement of a composite can make or break the image. Try to find some natural separation between both images. Too far to the right and we lose the outline of the figure. Instead, use the window for contrast and separation. Next, we need to marry the two images together, starting with the hand on the rear window. With the mask selected and a black brush, just conceal those fingers. If that green is irritating, let's just crop it away. The foreground image seems a little dark to me, so we'll create a curves adjustment layer, which we'll clip to the underlying layer so it doesn't affect the background layer. We'll drag the curve to bring up the exposure. Now it's time for some dodge and burn. Create another curves layer and bring down the curve quite a bit. 
then invert the mask with Ctrl or Command I, choose a soft edge white brush, flow it around 5% and start burning the areas which need attention. Now for the dodging. Create one more curves adjustment layer, clip it to the mark layer as before, but this time drag up the exposure. Invert the mask with Ctrl or Command I, and with the white brush, dodge the areas that need highlighting. Next we're going to create some motion blur to the car. So make a copy of the Audi layer. We'll rename this Audi Blur. Head up to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And we want the blur angle to be the same as the car's direction. I'll keep the distance pixels at 40 and commit those changes. Before I colour grade the entire image, I'm going to match the colour of the sweater to the car. So I'll create a hue saturation adjustment layer, clipping it to the mark layer, and with the eyedropper, sample the sweater. Drag the hue all the way to the left so we can see which colours are being affected. Then change the target so just the reds are affected. Now we can change the colour of that sweater using the hue and saturation sliders. Plus 20 on the hue and saturation all the way up to plus 65. Now if we invert the mask, we can paint in with a white brush the underlying red. I'll just rename this layer to sweater. So the foreground image still isn't matching the background too well. So I'll address this by using yet another curves layer and fade the blacks a touch and increase the mid-tones, which really brings this to life. Now for the colour, choosing a selective colour adjustment layer. With the blacks, I'll add some cyan and yellow. The whites will benefit from some yellow to match the background buildings, and the reds will get a boost on the cyan slider going negative towards the reds. With the mask selected, I'll just remove any colour changes to the skin with the black brush. Finally, I'm going to stamp down the entire image using Command, Alt, Shift and E. I'll rename the layer Stamp, and we'll head up to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and I'm going to add that Action Movie colour grade with some blues and greens on the white balance. Increase the blacks by around negative 12, and boost the clarity up to plus 20. That's it team, <laughs> I'll see you next time, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe.